everyone, I'm Logan Nicholson and this is Australian Astronomy. So today I'm so excited because this is the first time I've actually been out and imaging in about two and a half months. So uh, in the meantime I've had my mount hypertuned with, uh, with Ed from Deep Space Products. Uh, it's a great product and I would definitely recommend it. And yeah, I'm just really excited to image again. So I'm going to be imaging NGC 1999. Uh, so this is right near Ari uh, the Orion Nebula, M42. So it's basically just a load of hydrogen alpha data and dust regions. So I'm going to be taking hydrogen alpha uh, for tonight and I'm hoping to add that onto more data in the future. So uh, I'm really excited to image again. This video is sponsored by Sidereal Trading. If you don't know about Sidereal Trading yet, they're the amazing people who gave me my filters and filter wheel. So if you don't, if you don't know about them yet and you're based in Australia, you should definitely go check them out. They are awesome. Alright, so it's now almost 11pm. Orion has risen above the house. Not sure if you can see it. Oh, there's... So there's Sirius. Rigel and the belt you can barely see in the video. My guiding has started and so far with the hypertune I'm getting pretty good results, about one arc second. And so the first sub hasn't come in just yet. Pause for focus. I've already focused, yep. So now, it started integrating. I'm doing 7 minute exposures at, uh, at 70, 72 gain, so hopefully this will come out well. Alright, so it's now the next morning. Uh, I'm, I just took my flats, the sky flat, beautiful blue sky. I got about four hours of data last night, and currently I'm taking dark and biased frames because I'm using a new gain and exposure time that I haven't used before. So the data looked really good, uh, it was all in focus, and it, everything went really smoothly. The guiding was great as well and I'm excited to see what the results are. All right, all of the calibration frames are done and I'm ready to take it in and start processing it. Hey everyone, so it's now night two of the NGC1999 project. Um, it's a beautiful clear night again. It's now Wednesday. It, I last imaged on Friday. Um, unfortunately, it's not looking so good for the star party on the weekend. So I might not be able to get LRGB data then. But tonight I'm going out to uh, more local star, uh, more local astronomy club and I'll be doing a bit of visual observing then and then come home and set up the imaging setup. It's been far too long, it's now 1.30 and I'm only just starting the sequence now due to some really really annoying computer glitches where the mount and the software really just weren't communicating on where it's where the mount was positioned according to the sky so I'm really tired I've got school tomorrow and uh, wish me luck hey everyone so it's now night three of imaging NGC 199 hydrogen alpha it's now the 21st or 2nd of December uh, it is a clear sky tonight the forecast was supposed to be patchy but that has changed obviously got the setup ready to go and now I just have to wait for it to get dark and I can polar align and start imaging. 